Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So good day to everyone again. And today we'll be discussing a little bit of an introduction to algebra. Okay. Um, firstly, uh, what we will discuss specifically would be about algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions. Okay. So before we go deep into the algebraic expressions, let's first discuss the different terminologies that we will be encountering in our lesson. So the very first one that we will encounter would be the term constant. Okay. From the word itself, when we talk about constant, means that um, these are terms in a given um, algebraic expression wherein the value never changes. Okay. So for example, our examples of constants would um, B, specifically, this would be the constants, okay? Numbers, okay? Any numbers that you could think of, say we have 1, or we could, had, we could have 1 half, we could also have negative numbers like negative 6, we could have decimals like 0 0.25, and etc. Okay? These things are constant, numbers are actually constant under algebraic expression because they will never change value, okay? So 1 will always be 1, and 1 cannot be 2. And so on. Okay. Next one that we will be discussing. So we have the first one which is constant. The next one would be variables. Okay. Constants and variables. So now when we talk about constants, I, I mean variables, these are just simply things that changes. Things that changes. Okay. So from the word vary means the value varies, okay? So the variables when we talk about um, algebraic expressions, these are just simply letters, okay? So, so our, our examples for this one would be x, y, z, a, and etc. Uh, C, yeah. So these are just simply rep representations. Representations that x could be any value. So, we can denote that x could be, um, say, x is equals to 6, or we could say that x is equals to 7. So, it's up to us, and it's up to the given, okay? The, the variable is just simply a representation. So, let's take a note of that. A representation. Representation of a value, okay? So, those are variables. The next one. So, wait on, let me make sure that I am aligned. Okay, good. The next one that we will be discussing would be about um, the terms, okay? Terms of an algebraic expression. Algebraic expressions would actually be consisting of this um, smaller um, parts, okay? So, let's just give first an example of an algebraic expression. So, say we have 6x plus 2y. Okay, so this one is an algebraic expression. Okay, so this one is an algebraic expression. And these terms that we are talking about, these are just the smaller units within the algebraic expression. And these are actually 6x, sorry, 6x and 2y. This is the first term and this is the second term. Okay? So the terms are actually just the small units, small units within the algebraic expression. So it is small units. And they are generally separated. They are separated by the plus and minus sign. But we have a note here that you can only count terms if and only if there is no multiplication, no multiplication or division involved. So, dapat walang multiplication and no division as well. Okay? The terms can only be counted if and only if there is no multiplication or division. Because, because, if by any chance you are given 6x plus 2y and you have times 2 here, this one cannot be considered as two terms. This one has two terms. 
But for this one, it would only have one term because there is a multiplication here. Okay? So, terms can only be counted if and only if there is no multiplication or division. Okay? So, we will go deeper to that um, in the coming um, uh, lessons. Okay? So, next one. The next term that we will be discussing, and that's number four. Um, we will be talking about the numerical coefficient. Yeah. So numerical coefficients are just simply the number part of each term. Again, numerical coefficient is just simply the number part of each term. So for example, we have this 6x plus 2y. And we are talking about the first term, which is 6x. Okay? When we talk about the numerical coefficient of this given term, this one, the numerical coefficient is equal to 6. It's just simply the number part of each term, the numerical coefficient. Okay? So if we are talking about, say, we have the second term, which is 2y, the numerical coefficient of this one is just simply Again, it's called numerical because it's the number part. Okay? Next one. Next part na tayo kasi it's actually quite easy lang naman. Next one. Say we have, um, ano no, the next part pala. So, we have the literal coefficient for the next part. Coefficient. Now, for the literal coefficient, um, this may sound bisaya on, on my part, pero... When we talk about the literal, we are talking about the letter. So this is the letter part. And this is an, it's not necessarily the definition itself, pero this is for you to easily understand. This is just the letter or the variable part. Okay? So for example, letter parts of the term. Okay, here. Now, for example, we still have 6x plus 2y. If we are talking about the first equation, uh, first term, which is 6x, the literal coefficient of this one is x, the letter part. Okay? Oh, sorry, let me scroll up a little bit. And next, if we are talking about the second equation, I mean second term, we have 2y. The let literal coefficient is just simply y. Okay? We are only talking about the letters. Okay? So, these are the different terms that we will be um, encountering. Okay? So, the next one would be operations before we actually proceed to another so number six we have operations okay so operations in mathematics or in specifically it would be in our algebraic expressions would be four the four basic operation okay so the first one would be of course you're from our let's take it as m does na lang Para you will be reminded of the M does um, rule. Okay? The very first one would be multiplication. Multiplication. Okay? So, let's discuss um, about multiplication. What are the different symbols that we will be using for multiplication? So, the different symbols we will be using would be firstly the small x. Just the x. Okay? We have the dot or the asterisk. And we will, sorry, let me fix my asterisk. And the asterisk. And we also have the parentheses. And we have the no symbol. What do I mean by no symbol? I will um, tell you later. Okay. So we can denote, say we have, um, we want to multiply 6 and x. Okay. 6 and x. So we can denote this one as 6 times the x, x. 6 dot times x, 6 times x, still the same. This is still multiplication. And we can also have 6 parenthesis x or x parenthesis 6, just the same. And we can have the no symbol meaning 6x. Okay, but never x6. This can never be correct, okay? Never, never. So, when we are using the no symbol, there is... Sorry. When we are using the no symbol, our only rule there would be numerical 
let me, let me write that properly. Numerical coefficient before literal coefficient. Okay? So, I hope that you follow on that. So, that will be for the multiplication. Now, the next operation would be, of course, division. Division. Now, as for the division, our sim the symbols that we would be using for division would be we have the fractions, fractions, okay? We can also use the symbol slash. We can use the division sign. And we can also use the ratio, the ratio symbol, which is yung colon, okay? So, how do we express if we want to divide 6 and x? So, we can use the symbol fraction, which is, of course, 6 over x. Then, we can also use the, the slash, which is, of course, 6 slash x. And we have the division, 6 divided by x. And then, we have 6 is 2x. Now, when it, you will notice that when it comes to division, you cannot interchange the position. Because the answer would be different if you interchange the position. And I hope that you are familiar with it. For example, 1 half. 1 half is definitely not equals to 2 over 1. Unlike when it comes to multiplication, that if you have 1 times 2, the answer would, could also be equal to 2 times 1. Because 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 1 is 2. But unlike in division, it's not um, that way. Kasi 1 half or 1 over 2 is equal to 1 half, and 2 over 1 is equal to 2. And 1 half will never be equal to 2. Okay? And just uh, just to be clear, just do not interchange the position. Okay? Never interchange the position when it comes to division. It's only applicable for multiplication because of the properties of equality. Okay? Next one for the addition. Okay? For the addition and subtraction, let's make it, let's put them together. Okay. And subtraction. Of course, for addition, our symbol would always be just plus and subtraction would simply be minus. And there's a special rule just for subtraction. Okay, there are cases that you will see this one. I have 6 plus negative 2. Okay, this subtraction can also so be um, expressed in the following form. The plus minuses, I call them the plus minuses. Plus minuses are also equals to minus. In what way? Let's check a look at, um, let's check this one out. So we have 6 plus negative 2. This one is also equal to 6 minus 2. Okay, let's try to apply the ruling of integers. If I am adding different signs, I will subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. And I copy the sign of the larger number which is positive. And 6 minus 2 is just basically equals to 4. So any plus minuses, you can interpret as minus. Okay, so if, I will, if you would be seeing, say, 6 plus negative 10, then the answer there could also be 6 minus 10. Any plus minuses can be interpreted or changed into simply minus. Okay? So that would be for the different operations. So why are we discussing all of these things? Why are we discussing these different terminologies? The, oh no, sorry, let me undo that. Okay. We have the constants, the variables, the terms, numerical coefficient, literal coefficient, and operations. Because basically... Algebraic expressions contains those things, okay? So, algebraic expression. Expressions. Basically, algebraic expressions contains these things. We have a combination of, just these things, ah. We have a combination of um, variables, numbers, and operations okay and then we separate them these combinations of variables numbers and operations we say separate them by terms and each terms can be separated by the numerical coefficient and literal coefficient so the different examples of algebraic expressions could be of the following number one we have x 
plus 2. There's a letter, there's a number, there's an operation. Another example, we have um, 6xy over 3z. We have the letter, i sorry, the, the numbers, okay? We have the letters, and then we also have the operation, which is, of course, the division sign, the fraction sign, okay? So these are the different examples of um, algebraic expressions, okay? Now, um, one important thing when it comes to um, the, the algebraic expressions is also identifying the number of terms, okay? So on this first given, this one has two terms. Why? Because it is separated by 1 plus, let me use a different color. This one is separated by 1 plus 1 and 2. Therefore, two terms. Okay. Next one. On this case, this one is um, separated by no plus or minus. And it's just simply division sign. And I did told you guys a while ago that if you have a multiplication of or division when it comes to the terms, they would be considered as one. So this one is considered as one term. Okay? So let's have uh, different examples so, of counting terms. So this one is a little bit important. Okay? So number one, say we have 2x squared plus 4x minus 1. This is an algebraic expression. Why? Because there are, there are numbers... Um, letters and operations. So let's try to count the number of plus and minuses. So this is 1, this is 2, and this is um, and 1 and 2, just plus and minus. Okay. You will notice that this one is your first separation, second separation, and the third separation. Counting the terms would be, it will give you 3 terms. Okay. Next one, next one. Say we have um, negative 5, 2x plus 7 minus y. So this one, let's try to count. Even though you will see a plus and a minus and say, sir, this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3. Okay. But you will notice that this given, this entire given, this entire given is enclosed by a multiplication. Because I did told you that parenthesis is under multiplication. If that multiplication encloses the entire given, then this would be considered as one term. Okay? But if by any chance, your given would be like this one. Okay? Say we have negative 5 times 2x plus 1 minus y. Okay? 1 for the multiplication. And since the y minus y is not included in any operation like multiplication or division, this will be considered as 1 and 2, 2 terms. Okay? It's a little bit complicated, uh, maybe for the grade sevens, if you would be encountering this one. But here's the, you know, the main concept about counting terms. Okay? If it is under or it is, um, uh, what to call this, enclosed by any operation like by the multiplication and division operation, then we consider it, consider it, consider it as one term. Okay, any given that will not be enclosed, okay, by any multiplication or division, we can consider under one term. Okay, if they are not um, enclosed, they that is a, a one term. But if they uh, they have multiple terms by looking like many plus and minuses but it is enclosed in a multiplication or division then we consider it as one term okay so that is how we count each term okay? and that would be on my perception lang naman. but there are different kinds of examples that will um, make you confused but it's okay you are just starting um, in algebra naman. okay so anyways that would be the end of our lesson for today I do hope that you have learned something. And if you have any other questions, you can go to the video again and again, view it again and again, or you can ask me in our class. Okay? So thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.